Rob Davis has been the Brantford police chief for five years, but today, National Indigenous Peoples Day is his last. Davis grew up on the Six Nations Reserve and became the first Indigenous police chief of a non-Indigenous police service. Adam Atkinson caught up with him today on what turned out to be quite a dramatic last day. Brantford's outgoing police chief is proud of his background. I'm very proud to be from Six Nations. And, you know, I joined policing when there weren't a lot of Indigenous officers. And even now, there's, there's very few in leadership positions. And so to be a chief in a police service, especially in Brantford, next to where I grew up on Six Nations, very proud. He's also proud of what he's been able to accomplish in the past five years. Well, today we mark uh, 18 months and 17 days without a homicide. So, again, we were in McLean's Magazine for close to a decade as one of the most dangerous cities. And to be 18 months, 17 days without a homicide, I'm very proud of it. And that's because of some really excellent work being done by the men and women, but also citizens willing to step up and give us information. At the time of his hiring, Davis was the only Indigenous-born chief of a non-Indigenous police force in the country. And diversity has been a big focus of his. It was a very big priority, a very big priority, again, being from Six Nations, uh, knowing that we didn't have a lot of representation of Indigenous and other racialized groups in the police service, it had to be a priority. You know, you're from Brantford, the demographics have changed. And if we want to truly serve the community, we have to be committed to diversity and not just hiring on the front end, creating career trajectories for diverse people. Do you have any of his training? No. Larry's there. No. But right in the middle of our interview in downtown Brantford, one of the city's biggest issues arose. The chief jumped into action, trying to help a woman who had overdosed on fentanyl. He checked her for a pulse while calling for backup. Thankfully, she had some vital signs. Somebody administered naloxone. Uh, but this, is, this shows the gaps in the system. You have somebody calling ambulance who's dispatched from somewhere far away. Uh, the officer that showed up to help us said we have several calls like this on the go right now, so, which would suggest that there's a bad bag of fentanyl in the city. Davis says Brantford struggles with drugs are similar to other cities in the country, but hopes more can be done to help people in need. I think this clearly demonstrates the need for a, a holistic approach because we're there as the police, but where are all those other agencies? And I'm not throwing stones at them, but someone needs to take a, a leadership role and let's have a, a, a multi-pronged approach that's on the street uh, with all of the appropriate stakeholders there. As for what's next, Davis says it will be in a policing role, but that will be announced later. Adam Atkinson, CHCH News, Brantford.